Stop saving money, start doing this. Did you know that the average person has less than $2,000 saved? Did you know that nearly 80% of people nearing retirement in the next 10 years do not have enough money saved for retirement and will not be able to save enough for retirement based on their saving patterns now? Yeah, it's crazy. Most people do not know how to save money because they probably shouldn't. I'm gonna be telling you exactly what to do with your money so that you actually have some. Let's go. Noel, yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that, let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you my three biggest secrets that I learned from multi-millionaires that changed me into a millionaire. I'm gonna give you a simple way to increase your income in the next 30 days. And I'm gonna share with you the number one trick on how to use your money to make money. So let's talk about saving money because this is so important. Many of us have goals that we're supposed to save a certain amount of money or we should have six months in reserves or three months worth of reserves or however many months of income we should have saved somewhere that we don't touch. And I absolutely do agree with this. However, I do not think that that is most people's problems. I think that most of us think that we can save our way to rich. And that is probably the biggest mistake and the biggest flawed premise that exists in most of our minds. Know that you cannot save your way to rich. There's no way. You can stop drinking Starbucks and eat uh, you know, lunch out of the little Tupperware in the break room all you want, and you're never going to be able to save enough money to be a rich person. That's not how money works. So most people really have this flawed idea that they need to start saving more, they need to save more of the money that they make, they need to put more of it away for a rainy day. They have all of these ideas of saving money and putting money aside and never really using it. And this is a big mistake. Yes, you want to have some money saved for a rainy day, and I'm not saying that you don't have some reserve somewhere, but you do not, and I repeat, do not have to save this money. I'm going to tell you some ways that you can have the money that you need for a rainy day without ever having to save money and what you really should be doing with your money so that you always have money. So the first thing that you need to know when it comes to saving money is saving money is probably hurting you. I know that sounds crazy and I know people don't say what I'm saying, but I'm going to tell you the truth from my perspective and nothing but the truth. Saving money is probably hurting you and it probably is what is hurting most people. Not that you're not saving any money at all, but probably that you are trying to save money. That's your goal in life. You want to save money. You want to start hoarding and keeping the money that you have. And I know many of us have grown up in like a scarcity type of mindset. You know, our parents told us to save. They, they chastised us if we spent our money as soon as we got it. You know, I remember hearing sayings like, oh, that money is, is burning a hole in your pocket. And it was made to seem as if spending or investing or using the money that I had was a mistake and I should put it in my bank account, I should put it in a drawer, I should put it under my mattress, whatever. And the bottom line is that is absolutely incorrect. You are limiting yourself. If you think that you are going to be rich, you're gonna be a millionaire, a billionaire by saving money, that's crazy. You're limiting yourself. You are already saying to yourself, this is this finite amount of money that I have and I need to keep it. I need to hold on to it. And that is not a prosperity mindset. You have to know that money flows. You can increase your income. If you want to have a lot of money, know that you are not going to save your way there. You are going to earn your way there. You are going to increase your earnings. You are going to increase your income. That is the way to get get rich, not stocking some money away and then one day spending it on this one amazing investment that makes you a bunch of money. That's absolutely crazy. That is not correct. Even the idea of saving your money to start a business and then selling that business, you're just going to be in that same situation. This has nothing to do with saving money. If you want to save money, you can actually borrow money so that you have the reserves that you need and then start making more money. So let me give you that plan because that's where it is. So step one, get the reserves that you need. Many of us need this comfort level of having some money set to the side so we don't feel like we have absolutely nothing. 
I get that. But the idea that you need to save that money in order to have that money is absolutely incorrect. If you say you need six months of reserves or you need access to a certain amount of money, that does not have to be sitting in a savings account or in some checking account because in fact, that money is making no money for you. If you want six months of reserves and you say to yourself, that's $10,000, how about you get a line of credit? How about you get a credit card? You do not have to save that money in order to have that money if you get what I'm saying. And that's a much faster way to get the money that you need to feel secure and start focusing on what you really need to focus on, which is making more money. So let's just get that out of the way. If you have three months of reserves that you wanna have, or six months, figure out what that number is and then start getting that through credit. You do not have to save it. Saving the money is going to limit you from making more money because I'm going to tell you what to do with your money so that it makes more money. So let's get savings out of the way. You want three months, you want six months, you want two months, you want a month, whatever amount of reserves you want, Think of a way to borrow that money and sit it somewhere instead of saving it. If you fix your credit or if you have good credit, you can have credit cards, lines of credits, all these different things where you have access to the money and you do not have to actually save it. And that's the key. So let's talk about how to get your money making money so you don't even have to worry about saving money ever again. So now that we know that borrowed money can be your savings, let's talk about increasing your cash flow because that's really what matters. If you are in a situation where you are trying to get money, make more money, I should say, then you need to increase your income. You need to increase your cash flow. And that is what you need to focus on. Do not focus on saving money. Do not focus on a budget. Do not focus on cutting back. You probably already have a situation where you know you have to cut back or you know you have to stop splurging. Yes, get rid of all those unnecessary expenses. I'm not saying that you're gonna be able to keep those you know, bad habits and be rich. But what I am saying is when you are rich, you get to live the life that you want. I'm not going to ever get up here and teach you to limit yourself, to shrink yourself, to say that you can't have things or that you should live a small life. That's not the life that I wanted to live and that's not what I'm going to teach you. If you're looking for that, there's Dave Ramsey and a few other people that you can go ahead, click off this video and listen to them. But if you want a life where you have all of the money that you want, you have the time that you want and you get to do what it is that you want to do with your time, then keep listening. You gotta start increasing your income. And so many of us do not know how to do that because we only know of one way to make money. For example, when I worked in corporate America, I thought you had to have a job in order to have an income. I did not know that I could make a YouTube video or write a book or speak somewhere or get a rental property or borrow money and then invest in my business and start making cash flow as I got more clients. Again, there's so many ideas out there that you could start implementing on to increase your cash flow. And that needs to be the focus of what you're doing. If you spend your time, your energy, and your efforts thinking on how to cut back and how to keep and hoard the money that you have, you're moving in the wrong direction. You should be thinking of the things that you wanna buy, the things that you wanna have, the life that you wanna live, the car you wanna drive, the house you wanna live in. Because all of these things that some of these other people are teaching you about keeping yourself small is only going to leave you having a small life. And that's not what you're trying to create. I wanted a life where I had the money that I want so that I could do what I want. And that required me to increase my income. That required me to create multiple streams of income. I got my core business down of real estate and then I just started adding businesses to it. And again, I made an entire video teaching you on how to create multiple streams of income starting with one core thing and watch that video because that will teach you this and that's really where you should be focused on. I know you clicked on this video talking about saving money and absolutely, I gave you the answer. You can borrow your savings, okay? Yes, you can. You can borrow the money and have it and keep it saved, keep it somewhere where you're not touching it and then focus on what you should focus on, which is making more money. And so last but not least, this is what you need to start doing right now. Think about what do you want your life to look like? This is a serious question and I'm gonna say that again. What is it that you want your life to look like? That's the question. Forget about all of this other stuff where people tell you to hustle and work hard and grind and do all of these things that you're probably already doing in some regard, but instead put that down for a second and sit down and write down what do you want your life to look like? What are you doing each day? How do you spend your time? How much money do you have? How much money do you make per month? 
start writing it down. As you start to clarify what it is that you want in your life, you will be able to get it. I promise you. The fact that you're watching this and listening to me lets me know that you are on the same path that I was on, where you are looking for something different. You want to be someone different. You want to do something different. You do not want to keep saving money, struggling, striving, eating, you know, not eating the food that you want to eat or going to the grocery store and bringing your own bags and bringing coupons and all of these other things that people teach you, which is absolutely fine in the short run. But when it really comes down to it, what do you want your life to look like? People told me I have five kids and I would have to clip clip coupons and watch my own kids and not have a nanny and not have hundreds of properties. And they were absolutely incorrect. I wrote down what I wanted my life to look like. I stopped worrying about saving money and I started worrying about making more money. I increased my income, I increased my cash flow, and I improved my life. And you could do the exact same thing too. So if you want a little bit more on how to do all of this and how I did it, I have written an entire book that I'm giving away absolutely free. Go to noellesfreebook.com. I've spent months writing this book, teaching you exactly step by step with stories and tidbits and even downloads and checklists and all of these things that I've put together to help you create a path of success for yourself. I make millions of dollars and I want you guys to be able to do the exact same thing. Check out Noelle's free book. That's Noelle, N-O-E-L-L-E-S, free, F-R-E-E, book, B-O-O-K.com. All you have to do is pay for the shipping and handling. I have some free bonuses up there for you. But again, I want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle to your success.